Hey, 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 welcome back everyone to the game that we all love. It's not ice cream, but I dig it. We're gonna be playing the same good old game one more time to hopefully get something out of it. Why the hell are we back with this game? Haven't you had enough? Wait, is this to settle that bet of ours? Is that still on? If that's the case, then count me in. It's good to be back. And are we seriously gonna be settling that bet that we made? We were tied last time. No one's gonna be stripping naked in front of the White House, at least for now. Oh yeah, I remember, this is gonna be fun. I did my research on how to beat this game. I jotted down all the key points that I needed to learn. Uh, let me just get my notebook. Where was it again? Ha ha, you already forgot where you put it down. Let's just hop right to it. And I can't believe you had to take notes on how to win this game. It's gonna be easy peasy. It kind of is, but at the same time, it's not if you know what I mean. We all got rank A last time. Let's try and get a better rank than A. Do we have to watch this, Joe? Watch what, this presentation? Yeah, why not? I haven't seen this before, or have I? Anyways, it's better if we just do. We're working for the doppelganger detection department, right? I can clearly remember all of this presentation as if it was just yesterday. I hate you and your dementia. Fuck fine. Let's just sit through and watch this again. So yeah, just a quick recap for all the people who haven't watched the first part. We're going to be catching the doppelgangers. That's the challenge here. And also for context, we made a bet that who has the lowest rank among the tries or runs that they play has to strip and run around naked in front of the White House. Last time we all tied. I'm gonna win this time. I can't remember what I did during my shift, but I'll be sure to be better, so y'all better watch out. Don't forget to use the informations out of the folder that we have, Joe. We can't be letting you miss out on all the information that you need. Especially you. Who needs it the most? Are you trying to imply that I am special? Which I kind of am because I'm the president, but that's not the point. I think you're insulting me. Are you? We're not Joe. Just chill out. We aren't even five minutes in the damn session and y'all are bickering and arguing like an old couple would. Do you want to be married to each other that bad? Please no, goddamn, don't ever say that out loud ever again or I'm gonna break that jaw of yours. Zip it, I swear to God. Oh, come on, Donald. The idea isn't that bad. We can even have a house that has the entire DDD department working at our front gate to make sure that no doppelgangers come inside our premises. You better shut the fuck up, Joe. You can't be playing with me. Oh, this is why you deserve to be humiliated. Just wait. I'm gonna have you run around the White House naked. I'm gonna go first and I'm gonna get the S rank. I'd love to see that, Donald. I hope you do so that this bet can be settled once and for all. Be like Henry, but better. I want to do the first run myself, but this orange clown insisted to play it himself, so we're going to give him a chance to do so. Not that it's going to affect me whatsoever. And you can't do nothing about it. I'm going to shove that S rank up your ass when I get it. Just watch me spot the difference and get everything right. How is that even possible? That is mentally impossible, and I can vouch on that. The last time I played, I didn't even almost see that imposter zoom right through our door. Ha ha! Yeah, I remember that. Turns out that we left the door open for almost 10 to 15 minutes, and that's why the doppelganger got through like Lightning McQueen would have. That got us. That means that everything was Joe's fault at that time. This is why you should never trust him with any important job whatsoever. If you were working for my company, Joe, the moment you try and do your job, I'd make sure to get you demoted. Why? Why the hell would you want to do that? You are so heartless, Donald. You can't just do that. Are you doing that to all of your employees? I'd make them sue you if that's the case. So what if I am? You can't do anything about it. Just kidding, I don't want to let them have my case money. What I'm trying to say is, I would want you demoted so that if you ever mess up, at least it's for a lesser responsibility. Ha ha, I get what you mean, Donald. I can't believe you just said that to his face, though. And yeah, welcome, Mr. Steven Rudboys. I don't remember seeing you last time. Are you new here? He must be, or maybe he isn't. Who knows, it's been a while since we played this, but yeah, welcome to the apartment. Just let me check and get some information out of you and you'll be good to go. Don't play it so seriously, Donald. Do you really wanna see me run around naked in front of the damn White House? How cruel are you? Try to get at least just an A rank and then I can get the S rank. 
Hell no, I'm going to be getting the S rank this time, so shut up and let me be thorough. If I don't get this S rank, then I'll drop out for the candidate of presidency. A gentleman's fucking word, so don't fuck with me. Are you sure about that? Those are some big words to be letting go, Donnie. You wouldn't want to risk looking bad, won't you? Are you for real right now? As real as a darn gummy bear. I know those don't coincide with nothing, but yeah, I am sure about it. So shut up and watch me get the S rank y'all wouldn't get even if you tried. As long as you don't mess with my run, I'm sure I can get it. Oh shit, you must be for real then. I'm gonna be taking you on that offer. You better not back down on what you just said. It's a chance that I am willing to take. It's one way of eliminating you as a competition. It's gonna be killing one deer with one bullet. Or was it two bullet? It's two birds with one stone, Joe. Come on in, you're clean. I called and the documents matched. I don't think he was a doppelganger. My intuition tells me so. And yeah, I'm gonna lock in boys. Aha, the real one just went through. This is the worst timing to be trying to fit in and blend in with us, boy. You are in the wrong neighborhood. You're so dead. What do you mean? He's on the list. And I, uh, wait a damn minute. Didn't he just go through the door earlier? Or am I freaking the fuck out? Wait, let me check this out. Don't fuck with me. I'm pretty sure that the first one that we let in was the right one. This must be the damn doppelganger. Either way, we have to check and find out. Let's just do a thorough check on him. So the original guy is already in the apartment, and this one's the fake one, right? Ha! Ah, I knew it all along. I didn't have any doubt about that, and I knew it from the very beginning. You can't be fooling us, douchebag. Something's wrong with you, even though you almost look identical. We know that you are the fake one. If you went first, then you could have fooled us. Timing is the key here, Mr. Imposter. If you were just a minute earlier, then maybe I would have let you in. But that would be on another universe. You won't be doing that in this universe. Call me Dr. Trump in the multiverse. Dr. Trump, ha ha. If the Avenger were to put you in the cast as a superhero, then I am sure that you would be as big as Hulk. But this time it's not the color green. It would be yellow or orange. You'd be the most hideous hero of all time. Fuck off, you stupid mummy. I can't wait to bury you down in the pyramid. Shut up. If the Avengers were to sign a contract with me, then I'm sure that I'm going to be one of the reasons why it's going to have a billion sale. Haha, that would be unlikely. And I can't believe that Joe just said you'd be a cast, but you'd be as big as Hulk, but not green. Yellow. Fucking yellow. Haha, <laughs> you'd look like you were a walking french fries. Oh, shut the fuck up. I just called the DDD on this guy. If you guys don't want to be the next victims of them, then be sure to not mess with me. And if one of us would be chosen to act, I would be the best candidate just to let you guys know. Hell nah, I would win. Haven't you seen me act dumb all this time? Yeah, this was all an act to get y'all on my good side. To make sure that you underestimated me. And it's all part of my great, uh, what you might call it? Great plan, scheme, yeah, that. Seeing you say and hear that makes me want to vomit. I can't believe that you just tried to convince us that your IQ level and stupidity is just an act. That would be impossible for someone like you. Just shut up and watch me get this S, Joe. Ha ha, I can't really help you out with this one, Joe. It's the vibes you gave off. Hello, Miss Ma'am, how was your day? Just wait for a while. We're gonna be checking your documents and we'll let you know if you can get through or not. She's looking great so far, not in that way. Him, I mean, it could be, but not that way. Let me just hook up with you. I mean, a slip of the tongue, hook you up and let you know if you're on the green. Just give me a few minutes. This is going to be the death of you, Donald. You do know that Melania watches some of our videos, right? You're going to be sleeping on the damn couch if she sees this session. Shh! Shut the fuck up and stop giving her any ideas. And also, don't try and jinx it for us. And by the way, someone told us down in the comment section that the year serves as the expiration date. So if it's expired, it's a doppelganger. Oh, that's why the yellow guy said it's February 1955. It all makes sense now. That's why I didn't understand the dates on it the last time that I played. If I knew that last time, I could have definitely gotten an S rank. Ha ha. I doubt knowing that it was the expiration date was going to save us from that imposter that we let in. Yeah, the results would have been the same either way. Agreed. That would have almost zero chance of boosting your survival rate, Joe. Trust me, and I am not saying this because I hate you, but because it is a fact. And wait for a while, ma'am. I'm checking something out. Y'all are just hating me right now. That would have surely increased my chances of surviving. One look and they'd be gone from my eyes. Because I'll report them right ahead. But yeah, too late for that. Her daughter's at home. 
and her mom's not. She matches the description and she has everything that we need to see, including how she looks. She might be good to come through Donald. It's still your call, though. Also, wait, let me double check. The information on the slip also looks good. Damn, we can't get any dirt out of her. She must be clean. Yeah, that is what my gut is telling me right now. Go ahead and come through, Miss Ma'am. I'm betting my presidential candidate position on you. She looked clean, physically. Well, who knows? We'll find out at the end of this run, I guess. And by the way, how do we know that the information on the request slip is good or not? Good morning, Ellen Wah. We've been waiting for you. Just kidding, you aren't on the damn list. And for that question, Joe, the answer would be the stamp and the job description. You have to check those details out. Oh, is that so? I didn't even notice a stamp on those request entries that I checked last time. <laughs> Fuck! No wonder I couldn't get an S rank last time. Should we just call the DDD on her? She's not on the list. Don't wait, let me double check. There might be cases that they're actually residents of the place, and we have to let them through. Because if we kill them and they're legit, then I'm not going to be getting an S. So let me call the shots. Well, that is true. The shot calls are all yours, Donald. I mean, we aren't the one at stake of losing our pride and position as a candidate for the next presidential election. Good luck. That's why your hands has to be damn off. Just sit back and relax. Let me look through her documents. Your ID and the request entry slip. Everything looks good so far. This game should have made some visible changes. I mean, they did, but this twins are too much. Still doesn't change the fact that she's not on today's request or permitted list. Are we sure that we should let her in? I mean, personally, I wouldn't let her go through. Yeah, me too, but we shouldn't be putting more pressure on him. He doesn't need to feel all of this. Oh, wait, this might be the chance to mess with Donald Joe. Ha ha, that is true. This is a once in a lifetime kind of meteor that doesn't come once every thousand year. No way I'm gonna let this pass by. So yeah, what do you think, Donald? Is she or is she not a doppelganger? If you think that's gonna stop me from getting the S rank that I deserve, then you are wrong. Way fucking wrong. It would take more than this to break my focus. I'm locked in. Her sister is not at home. She's right here, but she's not on the list. And yeah, Joe, we should give up while we can. It would just be a waste of our time. By the way, people were making a fuss about Afton. Did you guys see him last time? Oh yeah, about that. I completely forgot who the heck he was. Not until I played back our footage after it was uploaded on the channel, and then I realized that was the, the one and only, Dr. William Afton. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? Who the hell is this guy? Dr. Afton, I don't remember him from the last session that we did. Who the hell is he? Is he some kind of celebrity? I just let her in, by the way. She matches all the information that she has. Oh, Fuck! Oh, oh, oh. I hope that she's not a doppelganger. And yeah, Dr. William Afton Joe is from Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, good morning, sir. How are you doing? I think we met last time. You're not on the list for today. I wonder why that is. And yeah, Joe, he's one of the missing leads for the Five Nights at Freddy's community. For context, he is the main antagonist for Five Nights at Freddy. Who is I'm sure you have seen him at least once? If not, then I don't know what's wrong with you. It's Springtrap. He's that guy. Springtrap? What? What the hell are you talking about? Five Nights at Freddy's? Wait, let me try and remember what that game is. Uh-uh. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, oh, that game. Those robots. He was one of them? You sound like a broken record, Joe, and yeah, he is one of them. And I don't know what connection he has with this game, but it seems like he's living here. At the apartment we're working in. Didn't you just say that he's the main antagonist of that game? What did he do to get that title from him? Is he some kind of super villain? Please don't tell me that he is. He isn't, but he's a damn serial killer. In the FNAF game, he's responsible for the death of at least a dozen children. Like who the hell in their right mind would do that? He was sick as fuck. As sick as this guy right over here. Yeah, fuck you. You're not on the damn list. Thought you could get in. Ah, he's pissed. This guy was a doppelganger. I knew it. I remember now it's because he has a small nose. Ha ha, stupid fucker. You can't get me from here. You're gonna die here. We got a new achievement out of that reaction. That was damn priceless. What are you saying? They will never finish us all off? What? We're gonna achieve our goal? You all are working together? Not that I fucking care. We're gonna get all of you. As long as I'm working, I'm gonna be the end of all your kind. Make sure to do better because I am better than Henry, you fuckers. I don't care how many there are. We're gonna get all of you. Bro, you just said the same threat two fucking times. Something must be wrong here. The real Donald wouldn't repeat the same line. Are you the real Donald? 
or are you a fake one? Which one are you? I'm the real one, duh. I was just saying it two times so that they can engrave it in their small brain that I'm going to find all of them and they're not going to get past me. That's it. Stop overreacting. Was about to say that you sounded like a broken record saying that line twice, Donald. And it seems like they might be working under an organization too. The same as this Triple D department. Good morning, Ref. Telling Capuchin, how is your day going? Just let me see your ID and your entry request, then I'm going to hook you up with something. Just wait for a while. I'll be right back. The more we play this game, Donald, the more you sound like a call center agent thinking about it. That is a much more suitable job for you. I can't imagine you as a president, but I can imagine you as an agent. A bad agent at that. Trying to argue with customers as they speak. Haha! -ha. Yeah, I can see it already. Imagine Donald being grumpy. Waking at the wrong side of the bed and he heads off to work and have to deal with a grumpy customer as well. I can already see him cursing at that calling customer. Well, that is not my fault. It's the customer's fault for calling my damn hotline knowing that I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. If they sound rude, I'm not even going to entertain them. Like at all. This is one of the reasons why you can't be the damn President Donald. Ha ha ha! Among us! You're the one who we can't see working for someone else, because that is who you are. Oh, just shut up, though that is true. Hell nah, I wouldn't want to be working for any of you, even if it was the last choice that I have to pick in order to survive. I'd rather die. That's why I have to be the president. Too bad you lost Donald. I do wonder from time to time what the country would be in Donald's hands, because we already see what you're capable of, Joe, in another multiverse perspective type shit. This country would be one of the most revolutionized country in the world. With the leading technologies and inventions on its peak, too bad. It's because y'all voted for this dumbass, not my loss. Hey, 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 you're making it sound like voting for me was a bad thing. It was clearly the best thing that they could have done. I mean, look at me. I'm also almost going to be legalizing ice cream as a free day-to-day -day meal for everyone. Oh my God, what the fuck is even that agenda? No one would even care if ice cream just disappeared out of nowhere except you, Sleepy Joe. And yeah, wait for a minute, ma'am. I'm just checking something out. Please be patient. Her wife is not at home. Yeah, she might be the real one, unless she's the fake one and we're missing out on something. But really, I wonder what this woman is thinking. She's like waiting and all she's hearing is our yapping. She must be pissed. It's a blessing to hear me yapping. Take that as a compliment, woman, and you're all clear to go. Make sure to take a bath because you kind of stink. Just kidding. Haha. -ha. Just lock your doors when you get inside and have a great day. Are you sure that the smell isn't coming from you, Donald? I'm pretty sure the smell is on our side, not on the outside. Ahem. Did you even take a bath before playing with us? And uh, who the hell are you? Oh, shut up, Joe. Of course I took a bath. I'm not like you, you know? And who the hell are you talking to? This guy is Arnold Schmicht. Good morning, sir. You are on the list, but we can never be too careful these days. Just let me double check some stuff out. We need to remember the people trying to get in on our apartment. So far, I can't remember if this guy already appeared in front of us or not. Am I having dementia too? Chill out, Barack. If that's the case, we can just be dementia buddies. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? Yeah, did he or did he not? Uh, I don't think so. Wait, I don't remember. Let's just let him in. He looks innocent enough. Don't forget that I'm calling the shots here. And since when did we start by letting our guests in just by judging on how innocent they look? If it was that easy, Joe, then we wouldn't have to look through all of this information we have on our tenants. Wait! That's not how you're supposed to be doing it? Then how are you supposed to? If that didn't happen yet, then we can just start doing it. Be a trendsetter. What the actual fuck? That trendsetting mindset is going to be the death of us and our tenants, Joe. Just shut up with all your dumb ideas. It's not helping us progress at all. Is this Gloria Schmick? Oh, really? He's not at home? Yeah, yeah, sorry, just checking on the tenants that we have. Don't mind me. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day. Yeah, he might be clean too. He's looking very green so far. Everything's looking good for you, sir. Your ID looks good as well as your request. And your appearance matches the ID and information as well as your entry request. Come on in. Make yourself at home. That doesn't sound welcoming at all, Donald. If I was that guy, I would have bitch slapped you on the face just for ruining my day with that unmotivated tone. Try to do your job better, Donald. You're not even my boss. So who the hell are you to tell me how to do my job and how to speak towards them? Shut up before I launch a nuke towards your house address. 
And good afternoon, ma'am. You're Maya Stone, right? Yeah, yeah, just wait for a while. Mia Stone, I don't think she has went through before or even showed up this day. She might be the right one. If we're talking about her appearance, she looks fine. Really, really fine. Can I get your number? Whoa, stop flirting with our tenants, Barack. And you wouldn't want Michael finding out about this. I know she. I mean, he can be quite scary sometimes. So you better not mess with my run. Ha <laughs> ha! I guess the Super Minecraft simp player also has a bad side. Like a baddie wannabe side. I thought you stopped being a stud a long time ago, Barack. I'm gonna tell Michelle about this. Shh, don't you dare tell her because I am loyal and faithful as fuck. I didn't mean that, babe. Don't think of it too much. They're just playing with you and you know that I love you so much. Editor, cut that part out. Uh-uh, editor, keep that segment in and if you can kindly maximize the audio of him trying to pick on her and get her number, I'll even give you a tip if you can do it right. Ha-ha, <laughs> that's more like it. But the editor wouldn't want to do it because he doesn't want to be dragged into this. At least that's my speculations for this situation that we're in. It's kind of funny, Joe, that you can use those words when you're fooling around, but when you need your brain the most, it just doesn't function. How the heck is that even possible? Wait, it's Dr. Afton who we're speaking to. He's inside the apartment right now. Can we just call the FBI on him and have him get arrested for all the brutalities that he has done? Get out here, Afton. Nice try changing the topic, Barack. That ain't gonna work on us, and besides, we don't even have the evidences we need. It's as good as Mia Stone's fucking try to bluff in her way in. That's right, you got bamboozled. I knew you were the fake one because you don't even look close to the real one. Get out of here. Wait, she's not the real one? She's the damn doppelganger? Are you sure about that, Donald? How can you know that shit? I've been watching you go through all the documents assuming that she was real. I guess it was her ugly eyes that gave it away. That's where you were wrong, Joe. I called her apartment and her husband. Afton said that she wasn't at home, but that doesn't mean she was the real one. Her entire facial structure was way off to the real Mia Stone. That's where my hyperfocus came in and saved the day. Joe and his ADHD, as well as his damn dementia, can't relate with that shit. Ha! Ah, damn, you really might get the S-rank, Donald. You're doing really great so far. What do you mean, Mike? I will be getting it, Barack. Trust me, with all of my runs and predictions and speculations going well, I know that I am sure to get that S rank and then I'm gonna be seeing both of you running naked. Let's see if you can. Wait, it's the same hippie from the last video. He's about to ask us the same question again. Hopefully you know the answer to this question because I sure don't. Wait, did you just say that he was here during the last recording session? What was his question again? What is the meaning of life, the universe and everything else? I swear I saw the answer to this question on TikTok. I can't remember it, fuck. I should have Googled the answer to this question. I think there is some kind of reference in play with this guy. I'm pretty sure I saw him, but from a different game. And no, Joe, it's not ice cream. You said that last time. It isn't ice cream? And are you sure that I answered this last time? I'm pretty sure that ice cream is the meaning of life, though. Fuck fine. Then what the hell is the answer to this question, then? Just like last time, the meaning of life and everything else in the universe would be money. Oh wait, I answered that last time. I wonder what the answer to this question is. I feel like I'm so close to the answer, but I can't just spell it out. Who are you? Can you give us a hint on what game you're from? I think I saw you smoking something the last time I saw you. I just can't point out where. Wait, a game? Let me think for a while. I think I know who this guy is. Wait, wait, I can't just put it together. I think I saw this guy back in the day. I don't know if we played it in the channel, but we surely met him. He's familiar to y'all. Then I must have hung out with him. I'm so sorry, hippie. I just can't figure out who you are. My brain's rotting right now. Is it 42? 42? What the fuck? How the hell is the answer to that question, 42, Joe? What in the hell did you do? Did you Google it? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, I remember now. It's the hitchhiker puzzle in GTA 5. Yeah, I think I saw him back then, but we didn't record that time because we were just messing around. Oh, wait, there's more? A hitchhiker puzzle? I don't remember that shit. You must be making stuff up, Barack. And what is up with this question? It's too damn long. The scientific name of the Australian animal? I don't fucking know. It must be the damn tiger or some shit. Simba is the right answer. What? Simba has never been wrong before, though. What the hell is wrong with that guy? A hippie trying to run a pop quiz out of nowhere. I'll let you go this time. It's not that I am not smart. 
It's just that the questions are all wrong. That's one way of saying that you don't know the damn answer, Donald. And yeah, good afternoon, sir. Wait, didn't this guy already went in earlier? Or am I tripping ball sacks right now? Tripping ball sacks? Uh, that's a funny name for you, Barack, haha. Uh -huh. And yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. It seems like I forgot everything that happened 15 minutes ago, so uh, you're kind of on your own. Ha, uh, what in the actual fuck? We don't need your help anyway, Joe, so sit back and relax. I can't believe you're worse than a shitty laptop. Who the hell reformats their memory every 15 minutes? Well, seems like Joe has that talent. Ha ha. That's way too inconvenient if that's true. You won't even remember what you had for breakfast if that was the case. Fuck, you might even keep eating the same meal day after day because you don't know what you got the last time. That would be scary. Is it okay to consider that as one of my fears? Eating the same meal day after day? And by the way, sir, you can't be getting through. This is your last stop because you're not even the real thing. Nice try. Next time, remove that mole on your chin. A mole? Oh yeah, there's a mole on his right chin. Wait, is that his left chin? Oh, it's the right one. I mean left, I don't know, but yeah, he does have one. What about it? Did that give it away? Goodbye, sucker. Yeah, of course that gave it away, Joe. The real one doesn't have one on his chin, not even on any part of his face. That was a dead giveaway. We can even check the tenants and hear from him himself. Good shit. Someone just picked up and he said that he and his father are inside the apartment right now. We didn't even have to double check and call them. Good job on figuring and noticing that one, Donald. Goodbye, fake rug boy. Good shit, Donald. You're doing really good. Oh, wait, should I be rooting for you right now? I should be cheering for your downfall, right? I don't want to run around naked. Shit. Mixed interests at its finest. Thanks, but no thanks for the support, Joe. The real problem you should be thinking about is how you're going to display yourself on social media the moment I get the S I'm looking for. I might be in big trouble right now. I don't think you let any of the doppelgangers in just yet. I might really be fucked right now. I can't be doing this. I can't have people see me naked. Can we call that bet off Donald? Too late, Joe. We already had a gentleman's agreement, and the price that you have to pay is smaller than what I bet. I'm retiring from the position if I don't get an S rank, and all you have to do in return is to run around naked. I'm sacrificing my chance of being a president here. Which do you think weighs more? Ha ha, that is true, Joe. I'm just glad that I don't have to be a part of this shit. I don't care who wins or not and what the agreement was. As long as I'm not involved, I'm okay. Good for you, Barack. Put yourself in my shoe. Imagine what the people would think if they saw me and my wiener hanging around and running around the entire White House. I'd be debunk of my position that fast. That's the goal right there. If they saw how dumb you really are, you'd get debunk of your position and they'd have no choice but to make me their new president. As easy as that. And good afternoon, Mr. Peachman. Just wait for a while and I'll have you settled in a few minutes. Mr. Peachman kind of looks derpy, no? Like super derpy, ha ha. His brother looks nowhere like him. How's it going, Donald? He seems clear so far. He doesn't seem to be a doppelganger. Well, yeah, so far so good. The ID and the entry request are on point, as well as his appearance. Nothing's looking like an anomaly right now. His job description matches as well. Yeah, I don't think he's a fake. Are you sure? He can be a fake one, though. We encountered several perfect copies last time. Just don't want to let one in and make you lose Donald. That is definitely what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah. Good try on psychoing me out, Joe. You have to be better than that. You can't manipulate the manipulator. Yeah, let me just check everything. The ID looks good. Appearance matches and the entry request as well. And finally, he is on today's list. Yeah, Mr. Peachman, come on right through and have a great day. Sorry for asking why you look kind of derpy, Mr. Peachman. Never mind that you look handsome. Come on through. Donald says that you're clear, but I doubt that. He is, trust me. He kind of looks as dumb as you are, but you can't be judging a book by its cover, Joe. You do know that, right? Everything's going well so far. I can smell the S rank all the way from here. Uh, good afternoon. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Ah, he has nose as his damn eyes. That is way too fucking creepy. Get the hell out of here. Nice try, fucker. Get the heck out and away from us. We don't want shit to do with you. Isaac Gauss, was it? Yeah, that doesn't look anything like you. Not even one bit. What the hell were you thinking? This is the most obvious doppelganger that we have ever encountered. Let's just play along with his charade for now. Act like we don't know shit. As dumb as you can. Then we're gonna call the DDD on him. That's how we're gonna fuck with him. Ha ha, I'm kinda down to be honest. I mean, I admire the effort for trying, but you should really do better next time, bro. 
Even I can disguise myself better than you. Don't you have a mirror at home? Bro must have thought that his disguise is top tier. We're gonna be fucking with you. Let's see how long we can play with this guy before we report him to the DDD authorities. The real one's inside his apartment right now. What is Blood even doing? You should have at least put some kind of effort in your disguise, man. Come on, noses, your eyes. That's just a straight up anomaly. The ID is nothing like him too. Ha ha, come on, bro. Uh, wait, let me talk to him. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. We're just double checking your papers. It'll be all done in just a minute. Just wait for a while, okay? Got it. Before we can let you inside the apartment, sir, we just have to make sure by asking, uh, what's wrong with your appearance? If you don't mind us asking, do you normally have two noses? Yeah, two big noses as your eyes. Is that how you normally look, sir? You kind of look good, to be honest. Don't we humans have two noses? Haha, <laughs> that's the mistake that you made, fucker. Even I know that we only have one. Look at the list again. Are you saying that I made a mistake? Me? The Big D Trump making a small mistake as little as checking the list? Of course not. You're not on the list whatsoever. Your face nor your name isn't here. It's time to debunk you out of here. I was getting tired of that guy. I can't believe he really thought that we humans have two noses. He should have done his homework. That one detail caused him his life. Ha ha. We could have done better, actually. That was just plain stupidity. If I was one of the doppelgangers, I'd be one of the ringleaders of the organization. I might even be the leader, the president, to be honest. Yeah, that fits me perfectly. Hell now. Oh, wait, if you become the president of the doppelgangers, then I can just become the president of the DDD department. Then we can have a president's battle off. Then the whole world will see how much better I really am. What is up with you and your inferiority complex, Donald? Just because Joe won the presidency doesn't make you less of a man at all. I mean, come on. You don't have to keep competing with him. Shut up, Barack. I didn't ask for your opinion. Good afternoon, ma'am. Wait, didn't you try to enter the apartment earlier? This one must be a doppelganger, or am I tripping? She was here earlier, right, boys? She was here, I think. She said she wasn't on the list because she had ice cream and didn't get to request the slip. So that's why I let her in. I mean, it's ice cream. It's valid. You can't deny that fact. Oh, wait, this one's Selene. This is not Eleanor. Yeah, you're fucked. You're a doppelganger. If I'm right, which I always am. The real one's already inside the apartment. And the one that we let in earlier was Eleanor. Is that right? Wait, you can't be so sure about that Donald. I can't remember clearly, but I don't think we let her in already. She's looking good today. If she was here earlier, I would have remembered. I don't forget good looking shoddies. Since when did you become such a Rizzler Joe? You don't even remember what's your birthday, let alone what you ate earlier. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, I am right. But I can't help you, Donald. I kind of forgot who was who last time, because they're twins. I don't need your help, Barack. Let me just call their apartment and make sure who's who. Come on, hurry up and pick up. Ellen Waugh is speaking. Oh shit, yeah, I was right. They're both inside the apartment right now. She's the fake one. Down with you. Good shit, Donald. I guess I really didn't remember her entering this place at all. My dementia must be getting stronger if that's the case. Fuck, I might even end up forgetting who I really am. I don't want that to happen, please. Oh, stop overreacting, Joe. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, at least for us, that's why we always tell you to go to your damn weekly therapy so that you'll get better and limit your ice cream fucking consumptions. But I keep forgetting about it. How the hell am I supposed to remember? It's not my fault. It's not that I don't want to get better. It's just that I can't. That sounds like a you problem, Joe. We've done everything that we can already. It's about time that you start and try helping yourself because one day it's gonna get you and we won't be able to do a thing about it. Skill issue anyways, why is this bitch still trying to get inside the place? We know you're the damn imposter. Fine, let's ask you for fun while you're not on the list. I wonder what excuse you'll have for us this time. Oh hell nah, an emergency my ass. Get the hell out of here. We're calling the DDD on your ass. Good luck and goodbye sayonara, nice try. And what was I talking about again? I can't remember. It's nothing important, Joe, as usual. All the shit that comes out of your mouth doesn't make sense anyways. And yeah, I feel like I'm nearing the end of my run. Don't forget about the deal that we made, Joe. I'm so excited. Ha-ha! Please, I can't begin to comprehend or even imagine how Joe would look like running around and across the White House with his wiener hanging and dangling around. Do we really have to do this, Donald? Imagine all you want, Barack, but too bad it's gonna be all in your head. Because that won't be happening. Donald is not gonna get an S rank, and I'm sure that he won't get it otherwise. I'm so fucked.
I'm Just watch me get that rank, Joe. And yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. Sorry for the delayed introduction. A dumbass was messing with my work. Just give me your ID and personal request entry slip, and then sit tight and relax while I process you through. I'll be back to let you know in a minute. At first glance, she looks normal. Mia Stone, huh? This time she has the right features as the real one. She might be the real one. And it wouldn't make sense to have two doppelgangers of her come out at the same run, right? Yeah, just let her in. Shh. Keep that mouth closed, Barack, because I'm going to be doing a thorough check of everything. No one's getting past me. I am not risking my S rank just because she looks normal, although I'm not finding anything on her just yet. She looks clear to go, Donald. Just let her in already. Why are you so serious in just a game? This isn't like you. Just let her in already and hopefully mess up so that the bet would become null. Nice try, fuckers. You can't be sabotaging me as easily as that. It'd take you more than simple words to make me overlook all the steps and make me mess up. You must be sweating, Joe. You're sounding more and more desperate now. I don't think I am. Shit, just kidding, I am. Please don't get the S rank, Donald. I don't want to look bad. I can forget what you said earlier. You know that thing about forfeiting for the candidacy of the president. Let's just call it quits. How about you shut up while I call her apartment floor to make sure that this one is the real deal or the imposter? And I ain't changing my mind that easily, Joe. So you better prepare. It's Dr. Afton who picked up the phone. Hello, sir? Oh, is that so? Your fiance is not at home. Okay, we got that copy. We're gonna be letting you know if she's here or not. Yeah, have a great rest of your day. Yeah, she might be clear to go, Donald. Yeah, I think so too. If I can't find any more dirt on her, then that means she's good to go. Your ID, appearance, and entry request, as well as being on the list, is all good. Feel free to come in, ma'am. Have a great day. I just hope that she was a doppelganger, and she'll come back later to snap that neck of yours, and then you're gonna have another A rank. Then I'm gonna be safe from that punishment. You hope, Joe, you just hope, uh, good afternoon, kid, oh wait, a kid? What is up with that attitude of yours? You wanna get some discipline from someone you don't know, huh? Do you even know who you're talking to? Hey, yo, chill the fuck out. Why are you stressing on a damn kid? She's just messing with you. You do know that's how teenagers act these days. You just can't predict them. Just let her in already. Oh, hell no. I'm not letting this brat have her way. I'm gonna teach her a lesson that not everything goes according to how she wants it, especially with me in play. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna be standing there as long as I want you to. Hey, Donald, no kids deserve this kind of treatment. Do you want me to sue you for child abuse or some shit? We're gonna get that lawsuit money. Plus, I love kids. I mean, I love protecting them. What the hell do you just say, Joe? I think I got that all on recording. Thank you for more blackmail footages and audio that we can use against you for the next election, Joe. That was some high quality content right there. Delete that shit, bro. You don't want to mess with me. Hey, made 369, call my FBI agent and be ready to move out and have them extract the blackmail files that Donald has on me. I want them on it a sap. Got that? And have my ice cream be delivered in the next 10 minutes also. Do you have your maid just lying close to you all the time, Joe? Do you even consider them as maids or is all of them your secretary? You do know that you're telling them confidential information, right? Who cares what they are and what they're supposed to do? If it's within my household, I am the law and everything I say goes so they can't do shit about it. And yeah, uh, uh, what was I saying again? Never mind. Haha, bro just wanted to demonstrate his superiority but failed miserably due to his dementia. That could have gone your way if it went well. Too bad. And yeah, this one's an imposter. I just called their apartment number and both of them are inside their house. Good job on noticing that Donald. And did you also notice that her appearance is not 100% accurate as the real one? That gave it away too. Thank you for trying. Goodbye. Shit, I'm starting to overthink about Ellen Waz's excuse earlier. She wasn't on the list, but all their excuses sound the same. They're all saying that they weren't on the list due to an emergency or some shit. But I let one in earlier with the same excuse. Fuck. Isn't this one an imposter? And she had the same excuse as Eleanor last time. That means that there's a chance that she was an imposter that you let through earlier, Donald. In conclusion, I have a chance. You might not get an S rank. Yes. Fuck, hell no. I'm trusting my instinct and I'm betting everything on her. She wasn't an imposter, I just know it. If she was, then I'm completely fucked. There's absolutely no way for me to get an S rank if that's the case. For now, let's have you focus on your shift, Donald. 
Panicking and overthinking about what's already done isn't good for us. That would more likely increase your chance of failure. I guess we're about to find out after this run. Yeah, no point in overthinking about it. Or that's what I'd love to say. But fuck, I wouldn't have made a mistake that small, would I? Please tell me that I was right. And yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. Wait, is it just me or does she look derpier than usual? Is this even the real Raftalin? I don't think she is. Or wait, she might be the real one, actually. I don't know. She looks completely normal to me, and she looks just like my type. Can we just let her in already, Donald? She doesn't look like an imposter to me. Just let her in already. You let an imposter in. Doesn't matter, right? Oh, shut up, you fucker. I didn't let an imposter in, and even if I did, that means I just have to keep the casualties to its minimum. And yeah, something is wrong with how she looks. I just can't figure out what. Nothing is wrong with how she looks, boys. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are all of you such judgmental people? Like, what the fuck? You're being rude, you know? Yeah, forgive us, ma'am. Let's just call her apartment to make sure if she's the real one or the imposter. We're about to find out once and for all. She kind of looks weird. Not that I'm saying she's ugly, but she might be, actually. Is that your new way of calling someone ugly, Donald? Haha. -ha. Welcome to Donald's lesson on how to low-key call someone ugly without saying that the person is actually ugly, ugly. Haha. <laughs> Shut up, Barack. No one has to know that method. And yeah, we just called, and it seems like this one's the imposter. The husband and wife is already in their apartment. This one's an imposter. I knew it. You looked uglier than usual. That's what it was. Uglier than usual? What the? Haha, <laughs> what is wrong with you, Donald? And yeah, get her out of here. Wait, thinking about it, she had stains on her shirt. I forgot to point that out. My bad boys. Wait, there were stains on her shirt? I didn't even notice that. That would have been a dead giveaway thinking about it. I think someone left a comment about the same thing that happened on our last video. Seems like we do really have ADHD. There was a stain on her shirt? I refuse to believe that. Send me the footage and clip it, chat, then I'll check it after this session. If that's true, then I must be really getting blind. Both of us must be getting blind, Donald. Joe was the one that noticed it as well. I can't believe we didn't see it. A dead giveaway just sitting right under our nose. Oh wait, I'm done. That was the last guess for the day. Let me see what I got. So I got eight doppelgangers and I didn't kill any neighbor, plus I didn't let a doppelganger in. Is this what I think it is? Hell yeah, an S fucking rank. What? An S rank? Oh, what in the actual fuck? You really did it, Donald. Congratulations. It's time to celebrate this accomplishment, huh? I'm so happy and proud of you. I'm the first ever president that got an S rank for this game, and I told you I was going to do it. Time to ask for my reward, Joe. It's time that you keep your end of the deal. Don't tell me you forgot about it. You're not even a president, Donald. And uh, the end of our deal? The thing is, Donald, I kind of forgot what it was all about. Yeah, that's right. I uh, don't remember anything about making a deal with you. What was it again? Oh, yeah, I give you a bundle of ice cream, right? It's on its way. I can't believe you're playing your dementia card, Joe. Ha ha. It seems like he doesn't remember it, Donald. A pact or a deal that was made where one forgets about it can be considered null, you know. And by the way, we have seven out of 15 achievements. Seven out of fucking 15 achievements, my ass. Like hell you'd forgotten about it, Joe. Keep your end of the deal, goddammit. Before I break that face of yours and have you rated out of 10, is that what you want? Okay, okay, hear me out. I don't actually remember. But if I can get an S rank on my run, then how about we call it quits? It's unfair that you made a deal with me and the condition can only be applied to you. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't mind spectating this competition that's happening between you two. I'll just be in the middle. And just to be clear, I am not on either side. I'm on the middle. If that's okay with you, Barack, then it's also okay for me. Just watch me get an S rank, Donald. This is gonna be the second S rank in a row. And if I get it, then we call it quits, okay? Fuck! Why in the hell do I have to consider you on the bet that we made? Just because you forgot about it? Fuck fine. I doubt that you can get an S rank anyways. Yeah, deal, whatever. And what the hell is this hippie doing here again? The answer on the first one was 42. Yeah, I was the one that got this. For the second one? What is the scientific name? What? There's scientific names. I don't know the answer to this one. Can you help me, boys? Let me think. I'm not really good when it comes to scientific names. Because it's a name for a certain creature or animal, Joe. And if you misspell it, that means you're wrong. Oh, fuck, is that how it works? 
So I have to uh, wait. Let me get my dictionary and try to browse over it, and maybe I can find the answer to this question. When did this game become a darn Quizby? I hate it. Since when did the dictionary have the scientific names of animals Joe? That doesn't even make sense. It must be in a huge scientific library or something, or a type of book, not just a dictionary. Those just contains the meanings of words. I might have one lying around here somewhere. I remember Michael reading it out loud. I just don't know where she put it. Fuck. Monkey isn't a scientific name, by the way, Joe. How the hell am I supposed to know what its scientific name is? This game is bullshit. I don't want to play this game anymore. Let's just go ahead and try chameleon. I mean, it fits the description, doesn't it? It kind of does. If it's you who's answering it, dumb and dumber kind of vibes. <laughs> I don't think that's the right answer. That's not even a scientific name, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. See? You had no chance of answering that right, Joe? Try again in another millennium. Oh, shut up. I'm here to catch doppelgangers, not to be part of some kind of quiz bees about scientific names. I became the president to avoid shit like this. Now I suddenly want to be a part of it. Hell no. Time to get to work then. Show off your skills. Let's see if you even have them. I just know that you're going to get something lower than A, and that's for sure. Our first session was just you being lucky. Ooh, why are you roasting Joe Donald? Stop that. He might rage quit and never play with us ever again. We don't want that from happening. Why? That's the best case scenario for us. It would mean that the strongest and smartest are left, just like the law of the jungle, survival of the fittest. Wouldn't you agree, Joe? I do agree, since that was the law from the beginning of time. I even got to witness Tarzan being born and raised in the jungle with his monkey parents. And since then, that was the natural law of life. But just know that I am better. After all, I am the president and you are not. I don't think you should be messing with me right now, Joe. Especially in with the position you're in. Did you already forget about the bet that we made? You're gonna be running around naked, trust me. Oh shit, that's right, I completely forgot about that. Shit! What I meant, Donald, was that you are the best. And sometimes you should be the bigger person and let everything go. As you should. Yeah? Is that better? I can't believe I just saw the quickest switch up that's been ever done in history. Haha. -ha. Well, yeah, Joe. You should really be focusing on your run instead of arguing with Donald. He won't listen to you and you know that. I'll even help you. I'm glad that you know what you're talking about, Barack. And this is kind of nice to watch too. Seeing Joe suffer and overthink about the decisions he's making, haha. -ha. It's entertaining to be honest. Oh, shut up. Since when did this game become a life or death situation for me? Oh my God, I can't do this anymore. And uh, oh, good afternoon, ma'am. You kind of look familiar. Have I seen you before? Is that even one way of greeting our guests, Joe? I can't believe you'd start off by greeting them and asking if we've seen them before. Duh, of course we have. They're our tenants, you know. That is true, but there's just too many of them to remember. I can't remember everyone's faces, you know. And yeah, this game is unfair. There's nine people I have to check. On Donald's run, I think there were just five or less. Stop whining, shithead. Just say if you can't beat me and just leave it at that. There's nothing easier to do than to admit the fact that you just can't outdo the doer. Oh, shut up. Just wait till I get that S rank, Donald. I'm gonna shove it up your ass when I do have it. Doubters, bashers, whoever you are, I'm gonna be proving you wrong. And she kind of looks clean to me. Should I just let her in Barack? Wait a minute, she's not on the list and she kind of smells fishy. Let's just double check everything, but if all goes wrong, we just call the DDD on her. That's the best choice for now. She's more likely to be denied of entry. Let's just ask her why she's not on the damn list. Uh, yeah, good afternoon again, ma'am. Why aren't you on today's list, if I may ask? Wait, call the DDD on her. I can't believe even I didn't notice her shirt. She had green stains on her. That's why she smelled fishy even from across the screen we were in. Damn, we were about to let her in too. Good call, Barack. With you by my side, Barack, I'm gonna have a better chance of getting an S rank. Thanks for the help. That was the second time we almost let her through. Shit, I have to be more careful. Haha, <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. I mean, this is still a handicap for me. You know, working together is gonna be barely changing anything. I do accept the compliment that you need help to beat me, Joe. That's the way to do it. But if you still lose, then Barack, you two have to accompany him naked. Oh, shit. Did I just put myself in a bad spot by trying to help you, Joe? Fuck. If that's how it is, then I have no choice but to give it my all, too. Don't blame me if you end up underestimating us, Donald. We're gonna get that S rank. Yeah, serves you right, Donald. Wait, this guy's been here all this time. 
Uh, good afternoon, sir. How may I help you? Can you leave your ID and what was it again? The entry request? Wait, you already have them. Just wait for a while. Stop panicking, Joe. Trust me. Even if you tried and focus, you won't be getting that S rank. Unless you ask for my help, which is not going to happen. Good luck, both of you. But all I can say in advance is that nice fucking try. That cockiness of yours is going to be the death of you, Donald. If I win, you owe me a bunch of ice creams. You better buy me an entire company's worth of ice cream by the end of this session. Yeah, yeah, that is. If you win, haha. -ha. No one picked up the phone. That means that no one's home, Joe. Just saying in case you missed that fact. I wouldn't want to see a doppelganger coming inside the apartment this early. Come on in. Milkman's clean. He kind of looks hot. Don't you boys think so? I wish you would give me some of his milk. Damn. What was his apartment number again? Maybe I'll go ahead and visit him sometimes. Whoa, whoa, chill the fuck out, Joe. You don't want to end up in jail like Jeffrey Dahmer did. And stop being damn sus. You can't be doing all of this shit. Focus on our guest right here. Lois Stilnski. Welcome, ma'am. Let me just process some things for you. First things first. Wait, let me check. She is on the list. That's good. She might be clean to go, Barack. If she's on the list, doesn't that usually mean she's good to go? Yeah, come on through, ma'am. If it was that easy, Joe, then I wouldn't have to go through all the files that contains the information of all the tenants that we had on all those damn floors. One doppelganger means a rank below S. Just reminding you. Yeah, Donald's right, Joe. We can't be too hasty with our decisions. Just wait. So she's the wife of Roman Stilnski. She's a housewife. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. That sounds about right. Wait, let's go ahead and ask her some questions. She doesn't look right. I can't make the words out for it, but yeah, her ID's good, her slip's good, and she's on the list, but she doesn't look fine. You can't be judging them out of your gut instinct, Joe. Come on, man, you can't be doing that. That's rude to our tenants. She's a mother, too. Imagine if that was your mom being dissed. That sounds awful, way awful. I mean, come on, you're doing too much. It isn't even that bad, and yeah, what's wrong with how you look, ma'am? You don't look fine. You look off. Oh, I think I get it. It's her lips. That's right, Joe. Damn, I can't believe you noticed that. I mean, I should have noticed something that obvious. I must be getting way too old for this. Good job on for noticing that, Joe. Stop using your age as an excuse, Barack. Joe's the oldest one among us here. He's lived for over a millennium and he still noticed that. You're just making excuses. You're sounding more and more pathetic, dumbass. Did someone just say Among Us? Among Us, Among Us, let's play some Among Us. We should really play it. I miss playing with our old pals. Comment down below, guys, if you want us to play it again. I'm down with playing it again, too. After all, they love watching me play it. I'm one of the best president killers in the world, and that isn't a joke. I'm going to be the best imposter there is. That's kind of scary hearing it from you, Donald. You know what? I might not want to play with you anymore. We should just postpone that idea chat. Yeah, that's too much. We can talk about playing Among Us with the gang later. For now, let's just focus on the tenants right in front of us. Mia Stone's here, you know. One of your favorites, Joe. Let's find out if she's the real deal or not. Her ID's good. She matches the description and the appearance is looking good too. Time for an authentic check. We're doing this to make sure you're the real deal. Turn around, ma'am, and bend over. -y. Whoa, 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 let me stop you right there, Joe. Shh. You don't want to bring our country's name to the damn dirt? You can be as dumb as you are, but please don't forget that you are the president. I just saved you from a lawsuit. I can't believe that was what you meant for the authentic way of checking if she's legit or not. You're gonna get yourself in so much trouble one day, Joe. And I just know it. She's not at home. We can hang out later too, ma'am, me if you want. Just hit me up and we can even Netflix and chill. And yeah, shut up, boys. No one asked for your damn opinion. Come on in, ma'am. Having you as the employee on shift for this very important duty just makes it seem like everything we've been doing is for nothing. I can't believe you're still hitting on our damn tenants. Grow up, Joe. I can't help it. She's way too damn hot. I mean, she kind of isn't, but in some way she is. It's because of the aroma that she gave off. She smelled like ice cream. Anything that smells like ice cream is going to be mine. Damn. Don't tell me if a pile of shit smells like ice cream, you're still going to call it yours. Is that how your mind works, Joe? Suit yourself. I can't be the judge of that. Let me take over for now. Yeah, Mr. Rudboy's wait for a while. We're processing some stuff out for you. Steven Rudboy must be a damn badass. This is how a president should be Joe. I mean, take a look at him. I may be the greatest, but I'd still consider calling him as someone who might be second to me. 
Is this your definition of someone who can be called a badass Donald? He is nowhere near to my damn level. He might be a war veteran. A pilot, was it? Yeah, but he will never be the president. Letting you become the president, Joe, must have been one of the greatest blunders in history. I can't believe someone like you is developing an ego around the fact that you became the president. I noticed that too. You might end up becoming someone like Donald. If that happens, I'm going to be quitting the squad. One Donald is enough. Two would be too much. And yeah, let me just double check if this guy's home or not. Why the hell do you make it sound like having someone like me is bad? And yeah, he just said that his son is not home, Joe. You might want to consider letting him in. He doesn't seem like he's a doppelganger. Well, if you say so, Donald, then that must be the right choice to do. I was thinking of letting him in earlier. He looked clean to me. I might be getting close to the rank S as we speak. Thanks for the help, Donald. Oh, what in the actual fuck is happening? Does this mean that we might have let a doppelganger in? Fuck! This is mind-blowing. This is messing with me for real. How the hell are we supposed to know if this one's the real one or not? Oh, shit! Did you mean to do this to mess up our run, Donald? You fucking rat! I can't believe you tricked me into thinking that you actually helped. Nothing's gonna help us now. I was actually trying to be the good guy in the group for once, and look where it got me. This is all it takes for you to badmouth me. Psych? Yeah, serves you right, shithead. Sigma rule number one, trust no one. Fuck you, Donald. You must have known that the last one was fake, and this one is the real one. Can we even check if he's the real one or not? Oh yeah, the telephone. Call his apartment, Barack. That isn't gonna work, Joe. We called his retired father last time, and that's what he said. He said that his son isn't at home, that's why we let him in. And now, another one of them's here. How the hell are we supposed to know if this one's the real one or not? Doesn't that just mean that we're absolutely and completely fucked? Oh my god, how the hell are we supposed to get that S rank now? I just got shit on. This is rigged. We're gonna have a retry. A rematch, please. Uh-uh, hell nah. That isn't how it's gonna work, Joe. Did you see me trying to ask for a rematch earlier? Everything was at stake for me last time, and that's how it's gonna be for you to keep it fair. Deal with it and stop whining. Okay, okay, fuck. What the hell am I supposed to do now? He says that he and his father are inside the apartment. He must be the real one, right? So should we just kill this one so that we won't risk letting him in? Yeah, yeah. Let's just go ahead and assume that the one we let in earlier was the real one. We can't risk it by letting him in. If the first one was the doppelganger, then we're dead anyways. This is the best call here. I agree with you, Barack. That was smart. Totally the best call to make for that situation. The thing is, it's going to be either the one you killed was the real one or the doppelganger. So you're still at risk of getting a rank below S. Fuck! That's true. Shit, we are aiming for the rank S. That's looking way too far for us, Barack. What the hell? This game isn't fair. If it was going to be this hard, then I should have went and played the first round. Crying's not going to be helping you at all, Joe. Just play the fucking game and stop whining. What's done is done. Good afternoon, Mr. Peachman. It's been a while since I last saw you. Hey, Mr. Peachman, do you want to do my shift instead? It's too much for me. Can you please substitute for me? I promise I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to let you in exchange. I can't believe you're down bad to have someone else work through your shift. Ha ha. You might as well consider giving up on the bet, Joe, and start running around the White House naked. Chill out. We still don't know if we lost or not. We'll see it through. Plus, it would be a pussy move for us and would be a huge disrespect for Donald. You don't want him looking down on you as much as he already have. I am glad that you know me so well, Barack. This is why you're one of my best friends. I mean, not that I consider you as my best friend or not. Never mind. Just focus on your damn run. Baka. Sundari Donald is at it again. Haha. Ha. You just can't be honest with what you feel, huh? And yeah, everything looking good so far? Your ID, Mr. Peachman's good and you look good. Yeah, come on in. Mr. Peachman is on the green. Come on in, sir. Have a great rest of your day. I hope you aren't a damn doppelganger because if you are, I'm so fucked plus I'm so screwed. Please tell us you're not. Ah! What the hell is this thing? Where the hell is your face, Mr. Longneck? What are you trying to mimic? A damn giraffe? Come down here and let us see your face. How high is this game ceiling? What the hell is this thing? Are you seriously trying to get in our apartment right now? You won't be able to fit in the doorway if that's the case. You should just give up while you can. Look at how long his neck is. What the actual fuck is wrong with this guy? This one's not a doppelganger anymore. He's a damn mutated human. He must have been experimented on or some shit.
mutated or not, a giraffe or not, a human or not, I don't fucking care. You're clearly not going past me, sir. You're free to go out, but for now, can you show yourself and explain what in the hell made you do this? Ha ha, this guy must be high, like literally. What was running in his mind? Who the hell was he trying to copy? Good fucking try or not, ha ha. You're getting removed, sir. Goodbye and good riddance. He must have thought that it was normal to have necks as long as giraffes. The more important question would be how high is the ceiling in this game for him to fit in like a normal human would. This apartment hallway must be enormous as well. That's the engineer's fault for building it that tall. And don't they have a standard for it? Since when did the building standard become Shock O'Neill's height? He might have been taller, actually. Ha ha! Shock's height is the standard for houses would be crazy. Imagine walking up our houses and the door is like two foot higher than what it usually is. It would be like entering in a giant's home. That would be crazy. It would be. But I kind of love the idea of that, actually. It would be revolutionary for all of us. And we might become a trendsetter, like how Models does most of the time. You know, like recommending products. We'd make great real estate money. I don't know if something hit your brain or not, Joe. But I don't understand what you're talking about and why the hell you're talking about it in the first place. You must be trying to impress Ma'am Eleanor over here. Is that it? Oh, shut up, Barack. You don't have to bust me out, damn it. Can't you just read the room that I'm trying to set for the first time? I can't have you as my best man, Barack. You keep doing this since high school. I can't believe that you were trying to sound smart in front of a girl just to impress her. Ha ha. Is that how you riz them up, Joe? Well, that isn't working. Because you just don't sound like one. Shut up. That was a great try. What the hell are you talking about? And yeah, I just called your apartment, ma'am, and it seems like everything good. You're now free to go. Just remember to hit me up when you have time. I'm the president of the United States, by the way. Are you using your damn political status into hooking up with more hoes, Joe? Is that how you riz girls? I can't believe you're using your privilege and status as the president. That's kind of pathetic. Pathetic or not, I don't care, and I, ah! What the hell? Was this guy already here? I didn't notice you, damn it. What the hell are you doing with one eye on your damn forehead, sir? You're way too creepy. Get the hell out of here. He just said that he can see clearly with just one eye. Ha ha. We just caught one more of the doppelgangers wannabe. They should really be doing a better job than this. First the two noses as their eyes. Mr. Longneck and now Mr. Cyclops. He's more like a Mr. Plankton to me. Doesn't that look and sound more accurate for how he looked like earlier? That's kind of funny. And let's not forget about the madman from before. That actually raged when his cover was blown. Dumbass. Ha ha, yeah, I totally remember all of the reference that both of you are talking about. When did this happen, by the way? This must be from the last episode, right? The last time we played this? Joe, this happened literally just a couple of minutes ago. I'm sure it hasn't been two hours just yet. What the hell is wrong with you? And yeah, good afternoon, Mr. Isaac Gauss. You should be called La Monkey right now, Joe, because of your short-term memory loss. Like what in the... That just happened earlier, and you just start asking when it happened. Just focus on accommodating Mr. Isaac over there. How the hell was I supposed to know? You guys must be shitting me. That didn't happen a few minutes ago. Anyways, Mr. Isaac, let me just get some of the papers here and double-check what I need to, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Just hang on tight. You kind of sound like a proper worker right then, Joe. You sounded normal. So that's how you actually sound like when you don't talk about ice cream for once. You sound better than average, actually. Ice cream? Did someone just say ice cream? Oh yeah, made 369. Where's the one truck of ice cream I ordered? Isn't it supposed to be here already? What do you mean I just said that? I swear I ordered it a while ago. Whatever, just get to it. How many maids do you even have at your home, Joe? And are you sure you should be letting him in? Well, suit yourself. Let's find out later if that was the right choice or not. He's fucking with you, Sleepy Joe. Don't worry. That was the right choice to make. He's the only tenant in his apartment, and it sounds right if no one picks up the phone. I was about to start crying because the anxiety was about to get to me. Just kidding. Glad that you told me all that, Barack. I knew I was making the right decision. I deserve a bunch of ice cream after this session. I deserve it. Come on, Joe. We know you love ice cream that much, but I don't think you deserve it. You're barely getting any work done. You're just using this session as an excuse to ask for more, are you? You even said you deserve it twice. Shh. Come on, Barack, you're supposed to be on my team. Fine, I'll work harder so that I'll be more deserving for it. And yeah, Mr. Old Man, you're not on the damn list. I wonder why that is. 
Don't lash out at the poor old man, Joe. He might be a real tenant that just happens to not be on the list. Just call his apartment to make sure he's the right one, instead of being a douchebag. Oh yeah, that was what I was about to do. Good call on that one Donald. But first things first, let me just double check his files and documentations. And uh, everything's looking kind of good so far, or am I just bad at spotting the difference? You just suck at checking, Joe. Ha ha, that's the main conclusion for today's agenda. You better be aware of what you're doing, Joe. I know you love to do things half awake, which I am not sure why you do it most of the times. I'm kind of sleepy, I can't help it. I've been on this shift for almost 24 hours now without sleep. It's taking a toll on me. No wonder my eyes can't function well. And yeah, good afternoon, Miss Ma'am. Oh, is that right? Your husband isn't at home? Well, 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 that sounds about right. What do you mean 24 hours, Joe? We've been barely working for over 30 minutes since Donald left his shift. For fuck's sakes, it hasn't even been an hour. And you act like you've been working on an exploitive company. Shit, wait, what? Is that true? It hasn't even been an hour yet? What the? It felt longer than it usually is. I thought I'd been working on my shift for the past week nonstop. I must be tripping. Tripping? You must be on something. You're certainly high as fuck to say that you've been working on this shift for a week with no sleep. Dementia must be messing with you for real. Haha. That might be the case, actually. Cut the bullshit, Joe, and get back to work. We still have to decide whether we let this old man in or not. He's a tough nut to crack. We don't know what he's thinking, and if he's the real one or not. I say, fuck it. We just let him in. He sounds and looks fine to me. Fuck, was that even the right move? He wasn't on the list, but considering Donald's run, he might be a real tenant. I don't know anymore. Fuck this. Well, we're all about to find out if you made the correct choice or not the moment that your shift ends, Joe. Isn't that kind of exciting? It's like the grand revelation for a movie or some shit. I can't wait to see the look on your face. Exciting for y'all, but not for me. My life and dignity is at stake here. Fuck! And yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. Stilinski, this must be the real one. She matches the appearance. And she has the Kardashian lips that every woman would want. Speaking of the Kardashian lips, that's one of the most attractive things for women right now. And I can't believe we almost let her small lip doppelganger in last time. She must be good to go, appearance-wise speaking. Just wait for a while, ma'am, and I must say I dig the style. You look like how hoes would look back in the 1980s. I mean, it's how I find ladies should dress. I bet your husband loves that vacuum lips of yours. Would you mind if I take a suck at them as well? Pretty please with cherry on top? Whoa, 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 what the actual fuck did you just say, Joe? That was all recorded and I can't, he just said that chat. Clip that shit and send that to Jill right now. Sorry, Joe, we don't tolerate maniac behaviors towards our tenants. It's the law. I'm just kidding, I was just playing, boys. Don't take it seriously. And yeah, you're good to go, ma'am. Have a great rest of your day. And don't forget that offer. It's still on the table, please, ma'am. Stop it, Joe, before I, ah! What the hell? He's back again? Didn't we just kill you earlier? You have a twin? Fuck it, we're not gonna be playing with you anymore. DDD, take him the hell away from us. Fool us once, shame on us. Fool us twice, shame on you. He really did try and walk right in. Ha ha, nice try, but not good enough. The same trick isn't gonna work on us once we saw it the first time. It's like a repetitive jump scare on a speed run. If you know what I mean, you're a legend. You're really bad at bringing up references, Barack. It's like your target audience are all iPad kids or some shit. Stop assuming that everyone here has the same IQ level as both of you. And is it really time to be messing around? Oh yeah, back to work. Good afternoon, sir. Can I see your ID? I thought I was the one who forgets shit around here. And yeah, just wait for a damn while. We're just gonna double check some stuff out and we'll let you know in an hour. Barack, can you swap places with me? I wanna eat a pile of buckets. What? You wanna eat a pile of buckets? What the hell has gotten into you, Joe? Did you turn into a bucket eater lover or some shit? The same as those people who eats rocks for fun? Hell no, weirdo, work your ass off. And he just said that he was out for an emergency, thus why he's not on the list. Mmm, hmm, mmm, this is yummy. And what I mean was ice creams, Barack. Why the hell would I go ahead and eat those random metal things? I'd rather die than eat it. And yeah, take over for now, for real. Stop playing, I'm eating. Blood just can't control his urge to eat ice cream. The level of hunger you have for ice cream, Sleepy Joe, is at the peak right now. It almost seemed like you don't eat for a week just to eat them ice creams. 
Fuck! How the hell did you know? And it's none of your business. I just finished one pile of rock. Thanks for the cover, and yeah, I'm back, Mr. Peachman. Wait, wasn't his brother here a while ago, or am I just tripping? You're right, Joe. Does ice cream temporarily boost your memory? Is that some kind of superpowers? You know what, Joe? Scientists would love to have you as their test subject, but at the same time, they'd hate you because they'll make no progress understanding how you work. Ha ha. I bet they'd be enthusiastic to have him for the first week, but at the end of the month, they'll just consider him dead or have him disposed of because they don't understand him at all. And by the way, both of the Peachman brothers is at home. This one must be the imposter. I know that, Donald. No need for you to backseat me. I just called them and they said they're not expecting any visitors. My brain's working at its maximum power right now. It must be because of the ice creams I just ate. Must be. But that doesn't make any sense at all. Ha ha! Like how does ice cream be of any relevance to one's own memories? That just doesn't make any sense. All that I get from ice cream is a bunch of brain freeze and that's it. Like literally. Maybe it's because he's from the prime era Barack. It must have something to do with his genetical information and structures, and especially because he's from the darn Ice Age. He must have met that damn nut-loving squirrel that caused the Ice Age. What squirrel are you talking about? Wait, that kind of does sound familiar. Was he with some kind of mammoth? Well, I bet it doesn't even matter. And yeah, good afternoon, sir. Just let me see your ID and request entry slip, and we're going to check up on you within the next day. The next day? What the? Do you really think he's going to wait for us right there, Joe? Till the next day, standing, the next 24 hours, you must be tripping. And you should stop with this nonsense because you're gonna get us fired. Fuck, fine. Yeah, we were just kidding, Mr. Capuchin. Wait, that kind of sounds like a damn whatchamacallit. A coffee name, what was it again? A cup of capacy? Wait, that doesn't sound right. Capacy pussy, cappuccino, that's the term. Ha ha. Blood just mess up saying the word cappuccino a second time. Everyone just heard you call it a capacy, Joe. Might as well order it and be like, can I order a glass of capacy? Ha ha, the barista would be so confused. Cappuccino. Surprised that you know something else aside from ice cream, Joe. And yeah, it's time to focus on the damn game. We should go ahead and check on his apartment. He might be the imposter since he's not on the list. Oh, is that so? So you and your wife are both at home right now? That's good to know. We were just checking in if you have any guests for today. Yeah, Mr. Capuchin, the imposter, you're not getting through that door. Fuck no, call the DDD. Already on it, Joe, that was a great save. Sometimes there's just no visible difference on these damn doppelgangers. Glad that we can call our tenants from all the way over here to make sure if they're home or not. If that wasn't a thing, we'd be so fuck. Agreed. Imagine having perfect doppelgangers with the right documents. And if they're lucky, they would be on the list for the entry request of the day. And yeah, this one's too obvious. Get this bitch out of here. No way we're letting you in with that eye popping out. Ha ha, you were just too fast with it, Donald. That was actually kind of funny. Glad to have you here, bro. But it wasn't like I wasn't gonna notice that. You just did what I would have, right? Nothing more, nothing less. Wait, did you just assume that I was trying to help you? Ha ha, too bad, Joe. You're way ahead of yourself if that's what you thought. We're still competing for that bet, remember? If we weren't, yeah, you can consider that as help, but that one was just force of habit. That bet? What bet? Oh, shit, yeah, that's right. I'm aiming for the rank S, right? Fuck, I completely forgot about that. Barack, why didn't you tell me? I was so laid back playing this game. I forgot what I was playing for, damn it. I thought you knew what you were doing. That's why you seem pretty chill. Just focus on the game so that it'll increase the chance of us getting the S rank. Margaret Bubbles. She kind of looks like someone who'd be the wife of Mr. Krabs. A wife of Mr. Krabs? Wait, now you think about it. Yeah, she kind of would match Mr. Krab. Wait, that's way too random, even for you, Barack. Let me just go ahead and check on her apartment. Let go of the damn rotary wheel, Joe. You're not gonna call her if you're gonna keep your finger inside of it. Actually try and spinning it. What the hell are you doing, you stupid fuck? Call it. Chill out, Donald. I was just trying to remember what the last digit was and it was number one. Time to find out if she's inside her apartment or not. Oh wait, no one picked up. That must mean she's good to go, right? Is that right? I mean, no one picked up. But the thing was, it rang. Let's just call her again. We might have hanged up on her. We can't be too sure this days with all these doppelgangers running around. And yeah, no one's at home. She must be clear to go. Let me just read it out for you, boys. 
Her ID is good as well as her appearance and the slips here too. And lastly, she's on the damn list and no one's home. She must be the real deal. Take it as an advice from the S ranker. Stop being a cocky fucker. Ugh, are we sure to let her in, Barack? Well, you know what? She's clean to go. I did a thorough check on her and I called her apartment twice, twice, to make sure she's not a doppelganger. No way she'd be one, right? I don't know, Joe. Why the heck are you asking me? And good afternoon, ma'am. Oh, you're not on the list? Why even bother coming here if you didn't get your name on the list? She must be an imposter, Joe. That can't be the case most of the time, right? She must be a tenant here. She doesn't look like an anomaly to me. This is messing with my brain right now. I don't know what's right and wrong anymore. Let me just call her apartment real quick. That's more like it, Joe. When in fucking doubt. Grab the rotary telephone and call the one in doubt. That's the only way we can make sure if they're a doppelganger or not. And yeah, Mr. Schmick, is your wife not at home? Yeah, that's good, just making sure. That's good to know. That means she's clear to go, right? But she's not on the list. Why the hell are these people making our job harder than it already is? Next time, they should make a policy that's like no entry request equals death. Ha ha, that's too harsh, Joe. Coming from you out of all people. But yeah, I kind of agree, but I wouldn't want death as their punishment. Because if they were the real deal and we end up killing them just because they're not on the list, then we're worse than those doppelgangers. Everything matches so far, Joe. The description's a match, the ID and appearance looks good, but she's not on the list. Let's hear her out at least. We wouldn't want to dirty our hands. Fuck, not this reason again. There's no fucking error, lady. Do you want me to call the DDD on your ass? Come on, come up with a better excuse so that we can let you in the place. Are you gonna let her in, Joe? That's it? That's more like it? The way she's being aggressive with the idea that she's supposed to be on the list is not gonna work on us. That's a doppelganger move right there. I'm gonna feel so bad if they were actually the real tenants of our apartment. I won't be able to sleep well tonight. That's why they should be on the list, to avoid confusion, man. I don't know about you, Barack, but I'm sure to be sleeping real well tonight. And that's because I'm gonna get an S rank and the deluxe ice cream's gonna be here soon. Right, Made 369? Is that the last guess that for the day? Oh, fuck. Ah, God damn it. There was a doppelganger. I was sure that I did well. Told you. Ha ha. I just knew that you let one or at least two of them in last time. I knew, but I just didn't tell you about it. Why the hell would I even want to help you in the first place? You got a B rank, too. Even worse than an A rank. Fuck, that was on me, too, Joe. It was Steven's ID and Alf's ID that had no date on it. I didn't even notice that. Fuck. I guess you're going to be running naked in front of the White House, Joe. Good luck with that. Running naked? Uh, who said and agreed with that? I sure don't remember having anything to do with that bet. Yeah, that's right. I, uh, what was I doing here again? System reformat, memory files, and cash. Goodbye, sayonara, goo goo ga, ga Stop fucking acting dumb, Joe. And you too, Barack. You're on it too. That was two against one and you still lost to me. That's how great I am, folks. I'm gonna be expecting y'all to do it tomorrow on live. Oh, hell nah, I'm not part of this shit. I didn't even get to play. Joe can do it himself. He can run two laps around the White House. That'll include my punishment. That sounds fair, and yeah, Michelle's uh, calling uh, me, I gotta dumb. go. Come back Bye. here, Barack. I don't know what you're on about, and what is that sexy, Terry? We have an important meeting. Okay, I'm coming right now, goodbye. Come back here, you motherfuckers. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up, or I will nuke you.